Thomas, if you want to start with uh, your introduction. All right. My name is Thomas Massey. I'm 41 years old. I've been married to my high school sweetheart for 18 years. I have four children. We're raising them on a farm in Kentucky. I am a Kentucky native and a lifelong Republican. I have two degrees from MIT and 24 patents. Most importantly, though, I started a company and created 70 jobs. We need more leaders in Washington, D.C. who've created jobs. We got a president in the White House who I suspect is not even running lemonade stand. I'm running for this office not to develop a career in politics, but to undo the damage inflicted on our country by career politicians. The self-serving culture of both Democrats and Republicans in Washington, D.C. needs to end. It needs to end now. 26 years ago, Ronald Reagan said in relating the economy to government, if it moves, they'll tax it. If it keeps moving, they'll regulate it. And if it stops moving, they'll subsidize it. These words were true back then, and they're even more true today. And within them is contained the recipe for bringing our economy back. We need to change the tax code, which punishes job creators. We need to roll back regulations that stifle our economy. And more importantly, we need to stop the central planners that are handing out the bailouts and the subsidies, draining our treasury, and causing our country to go greater, further into debt. And debt is the most pressing issue today. We owe $15 trillion, a trillion dollars of that, to the communist country. If you're going to be part of the solution, first you've got to agree not to be part of the problem. I've agreed, I've pledged not to take a congressional pension. Because public service means that I serve you, not that you serve me, long after I've left office. If you'll vote for me, I'll take common sense and conviction from Kentucky back to Washington, D.C. Thank you and God bless. Fort Mitchell in Kent County. Uh, I've uh, married to my wife for 35 years with three daughters and twin uh, granddaughters. For 30 years I worked for a company called the Shakley Group up in Cincinnati. I was the 11th person hired and eventually became the president and chief operating officer of that company. We built it from $500,000 in revenue up to 70 million with over 600 employees. I'm very proud of that. Great company, a great organization, a great American success story. I am the uh, author of three books on business and leadership, and I have two manuscripts pending. My first one on politics, which will include uh, the last three months, which has been very enlightening to me. <laughs> <laughs> For the last 18 months, maybe you've seen uh, or heard or read any of my articles, I've been a political activist and writer and fighter on many local issues. I've written 125 local articles uh, dealing with uh, sanitation, water, library taxes, uh, climate change, uh, you name it. I, I've been involved. You may have seen him in the Community Recorder or the Journal News. But one of the main things about my candidacy is my website. I'm trying to be the most offer the most comprehensive website of anybody. I've got 65,000 words on the issues on my website. I want people to go to TomWords.com, read what I think about all the issues, and then become an educated voter because I believe the number one problem in America is the uneducated voters. Most people who do vote don't have a clue. They do it on signs, they do it on fluffy 30 second commercials, they do it on stickers, they do it on everything, but they don't have a clue what they're talking about. The only way I know to help people do it is to give them a website, give them a tool to go learn, and decide who's the best candidate. And I appreciate that time. If you would be happy to do that, go to TomWords.com and see if I'm the best candidate. If I am, I'd appreciate your support on May 22nd. Thank you. Gary Moore. I'm the Boone County Judge Executive and it's a pleasure to be with you here tonight. I want to tell you a little bit about where I started. I was born and raised in Pendleton County. Born and raised on a tobacco farm. We raised beef cattle, hay, worked hard every day. That's where I learned and watched my, watched my family serve, watched the neighbors serve. That's where I learned my work ethic. A few years later, my father was elected the County Sheriff in Pendleton County. In those days, the county sheriff could only serve one four-year term. He was deputy sheriff for four and sheriff for four. That's where I learned first in, about community service, watching him get in, up in the middle of the night, answer a call, go out to work an accident, go out to deal with a domestic violence issue, and put his life on the line to protect others. After graduating from Pendleton County High School, I began to work for, for a company here in Boone County, Wiseway Supply Company. I was employee number four, employee number four, 
We worked and built that company. When I was 22 years old, I was general manager. When I was 24 years old, I was vice president of the company. We built that store, working with the Kane family into what it is today. Five stores, two states, and about 70 employees. At one point, we were well over 100 employees before this economy hit, and we saw the impact. I took 20 years of private sector with me to become the judge executive of Boone County. And it's that private sector experience, not only before becoming judge executive, but while serving as judge executive. I've continued my relationship with Wiseway, and that kept me grounded. If you're out on a job site and you're talking to a plumber, electrical contractor, they're sure going to tell you what's wrong with government, whether it's local, state, or federal. You know, while serving as judge executive, you know the Boone County success story, the population growth, the tremendous economic development. When people vote with their feet and their money to come, that's the greatest endorsement we can have. We'll talk more about that later. Thanks, sir. <clears throat> Brian? Hello, my name is uh, Brian Other, and I'm a uh, school teacher at Alternative School. I've been uh, teaching there for 10 years. I've been a teacher for 15. I've been a coach for over 20. Uh, the reason why I got in this race, the one, the one line I use all the time is I can work with dysfunctional teenagers, I can work with the dysfunctional Congress. Trust me, working with, working with alternative kids that are in and out of jail all the time, you're tough, your skin gets a little bit tough, so I can, I can take the blows and stuff. Uh, also, they're also the re main reason I got in this race because I feel our country is spiraling out of control. We need to get back to the basics, which are four principles, which our country was founded upon: God, family, hard work, and individual responsibility. I learned those values early on in my age because my family had a saying that we always used: a family prays together, stays together. So you're going to hit some rough spots. In family, sometimes we, we you have to do the tough things to keep your family going strong together. And I learned those principles from my, from my dad, my mom, my grandfathers, both sets of, I mean, everybody in my family, we're a close-knit group. When someone goes down, we pick, we're there to pick them up, whatever happens. We need to get back to that here in this country because we are relying too much on the government to do the job of what us, the family members, have to do for each other. Hard work, I watched my grandfather work up until he was 83 years old. He worked half day until he was 83 because he was, came from the generation of the Great Depression. I understand what it means. He told me, you always want to have a job because you don't want to be without one. I learned that from both sets of my grandparents. Because my other grandparent, father was, he was, he taught me something very interesting. I told Gary Moore this in the restroom. That, you know, he says, I mean, because he did teach me a story. He goes, when he climbed in there, because he was a boxer. He was a, he was a, he, he, uh, fought, he was a boxer in the uh, military in, during World War II. And he told me something very inspirational. I was getting ready to do my first fight. To get climbing into the ring. He goes, uh, he goes, I'm gonna tell you two things you're gonna learn real positive. I was like, I said, I expected some great words of wisdom. What he told me is you're gonna get hit and it's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs>